Okay, guys, um, we ran into some issues on the last one. Hi, Tammy. Comment right away if you're here so I know you're here. We ran into some issues on the last training, which I hope everybody got to see all the way to the end. And that's great. I'm fine breaking those up because I think that's a good way to do this. So that first one covered pretty much everything you need to demo. And now this one is going to be just about what to say and how to deal with the customers. How to handle um, rebuttals, how to answer concerns, how to talk about the products, what to tell the customers about application. So that's what we're going to do here. So I need a volunteer. Nikki, you said you had to go live, I think, somewhere on your sales group, or I don't know if it's in Gloss Girls or where you're going live at 8. So why don't we have you um, first? Are you okay with going first? Nikki, Nikki. Tell me you're okay. If you're okay, I'm going to grab you, girl. You ready to do this? And do you want to be the customer or do you want to be the salesperson? You're such a good salesperson. I would love to hear your sales pitch. Everybody always hears mine. <laughs> okay, Nikki wants to be first. All right, I'm going to invite Nikki, so everybody check us out. Ready? Here we go. Hopefully I can do this. She out of me last time I did this because she wasn't ready. I told her to be ready this time. And by the way, I took a drink of this in the last video. And you know how like it saves one image of you at the, to advertise in your page? Like, oh, this was your live. It kept an image of me go like this. Right? And like my neck looked all fat. It was really cute. So I don't even know. Isn't there a way you can change that? I don't even know. Uh, Somebody know the way? I don't know if there's a way to do it, but I wish I did know. because it I think there is. I think Lynn knows how to do it because I think her husband told me once. Look at her making faces. Um, I think there is. It's like a way you can change the thumbnail. God, I need to change that thumbnail. So don't go back and look at it and laugh at me any of you guys okay Nikki you're gonna be the salesperson I'm gonna be the customer you ready okay wait can you hear me can I can hear you can everybody else hear Nikki somebody confirm that you guys can hear Nikki too so that we can make sure that you guys can hear us both you can hear me right keep talking Nikki make sure they can hear you hello, hello, hello. okay everybody's liking we're good okay okay Okay. You're gonna be the sales. You're gonna be the salesperson. Okay? okay. So Nikki, since you normally do like beauty demos, like at parties, and not so much at vendor shows, yeah. I want to talk to you like I'm at a party. I want you to talk to me like I'm at a party. So I can give some okay. examples of when we're at vendor shows, but I want you to talk to me like I'm at a party. I'm sitting at a table, and what do you say to me? Okay. So like if we're at a lip and sip, this is so fun. I love this interaction stuff. <laughs> and we would have had ordered some appetizers or something like that. So I would be, uh, the very first thing that I would do is set them down, and I usually have almost like a placemat of their stuff that they need. All right, so I'll have their tester one ready and whatever else that they are going to need personally, so I can kind of just get that knocked out of the way. So I, you, put that on the, you put that on each individual placemat, okay. Each individual placemat. And um, some people use little cups. And some people, I like, I just use a paper towel. Then that way they can just wipe stuff off on the paper towel and just have it ready to go. Um, okay. So I tell them what we're going to do. I explain to them, um, you know, like, so you've just sat down. I would say, hey, Cassie. And I would just let you know. Hey, Nikki. Hi, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that these are, this is your you can, uh, this, these are your wands. This is your glossy sample pack. You can dip into there as many times as you need. And then I would say, let's go ahead and start looking at colors. And I would have them maybe show me what they typically wear. I would want them to take off what they would normally wear. So I would say, you know what, I see you have on, you know, a really bright pink or a really pretty warm brown or whatever. And I would say, why don't we start looking at those and start doing some color matching? And then Okay, so you're looking at you're looking at what's already in their comfort zone. In their comfort zone. And then I start kind of pulling some colors. I show them my testers. I'm like, you know, here's my testers. This is this is for us to play with colors. So I would say to you, why don't you tell me a little bit about the colors that you are looking for? And now you would tell me what you're looking for. Okay. Well, I know I'm wearing a brown today, but I really wanted to get a red. Okay. So I But I don't know. I don't ever I never look good in red. I always find reds that I want and then it looks terrible on me. Okay. Um, in a situation like that where people are a little bit nervous about a color, 
I would say, you know what? You have, um, you're a neutral skin tone, so you can really wear a warm or a cool red. Why don't we swatch two different reds? And then if, if these aren't right, then we'll pull out maybe something a little softer. But everyone can wear a red. There isn't anybody that can't wear a red. You just got to make sure it's the right red. You know what I mean? Okay. I like that. Did everybody hear that? That's really good. And Nikki knows color. I mean, she's a freaking hair color chick. She knows everything about color. So if she tells you anybody can wear red, she is right. Anybody can wear red. And I love that. And a lot of women are scared to wear red. So I think it's good to say you know, the red is a classic, beautiful color. Like, don't make women, some women associate red with, like, being Sultry fixing kind of stuff. dirty like, oh, or being, you know, oh. like, I've heard people call red hooker red. I've heard people call red other red that I don't want to say. I've heard people, you know, just kind of look at red like it's a naughty color. It's not a naughty color. And so I always try to remind them, like, red's a very classic color. It's been around since forever, and women have been wearing it forever, and it can be very classic and done right very professionally like it doesn't have to be a ton of makeup on your face and that's what i particularly love is like a light neutral eye or not very much at all or maybe just a black classic wing or black mascara and a red lip boom and it's so just it's so pretty on everybody so i love that so i start with fly girl and blue red and if we i swatch them you know i say let's go on and just and try these let's look at both of these one is a warm and one is a cool okay so, Cassie, you, to me, you are a neutral. You really can wear, you can wear a warm hair color, you can wear a cool hair color, and you know how to play your makeup up. So, you're a chameleon. You can blend in with whatever. So, I would let you choose which red appealed to you at that point, you know? Okay, so I put them, I put them both on my hands, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I like them both. And then, like, how do you gear me? How do you, if I, I just can't decide, how do you direct me I to you choosing a color? and fly girl on the bottom oh so you would have to do one of each yep one okay of each. just a tip something that i do and that's why i love this nikki because we can all talk about different things that we do and everybody can do what works for them but a lot of people i will tell them when they put it on their hand i'll hand them a mirror and tell them to hold it up to them next to their face and see if one of them just looks like it's going to look better and sometimes they can make that decision that fast but i but absolutely a lot of times people will do one on each lip or half or one half. side and half the other side. And then they can go like this and like this. Or but like this. Well, it's harder to do top and bottom, I think. If you are going to try on a red at a demo or a lip inset, if they have any intention of wearing any other color on their lips that day, they need to do that color first. Don't start them with a red if you know they're going to want to try pink champagne on. Because... That's not going to work out. You know? <laughs> right, <laughs> you right. And you are going to be like, oh, dear God, we can't. This is not the way pink champagne would typically look. Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. So if you think they're going to buy multiple colors, you might say, okay, let's save that red for last. Yes. And let's start with your everyday color first. And then that way we can just put a layer of red over the top of that. Put red on after we try our right. pink champagne or our bombshell or whatever. Okay. Right. So that is definitely something that I feel like has once I started doing that people were also trying on more colors okay yeah so then I would give you my business card which you would get in your little baggie that you go home and on the back of that business card I have you write down all the colors that you like that you saw so by the end of our session together the end of our demo that's a good idea um, they have got a list to go home with so then they can say okay I liked fly girl I liked you know bombshell i like base champagne or whatever and then yeah and then they have a list of colors that maybe they couldn't get at that time right so always reach back out to them and ask them you know let them know you're having a sale or make sure that you tag them in a post about base champagne or whatever um and then you can boost your sales that way that's a great way to upsell yeah if they can only get one color or maybe two but they really love that other one then they've got a list of those colors that they like and you don't have to try to remember or keep right. it up yourself. they're going home with your business card anyway on the back of that or on a cute little post-it or whatever just write down the colors they like okay and nikki i just want to say nikki um nikki calls that a prescription pad and i think that's cute like she talked about that with the makeover she's the one who told me to do that with my makeovers and ever since i've been doing that 
people have been ordering. And if they don't order the day of, they come back and order a day or two later because they have their prescription pad of what I put on their face. So same with what she's saying. If say they do a bunch of colors that they like and they're like, oh, I really like these last two, but I can only get this one. So then on that prescription pad, your lip prescription pad, you're going to write the other colors that they liked and say, this yeah. is so... When you do have some more money and you want to come back, you can you can go ahead and order these from me, and then they have that in hand. And then they have, you know, and that's and that's a great way to boost your sales as well. Okay, so now we tried on colors. You and I have talked about reds. We've talked about your skin tone. Uh, so now it's time to make your purchase, right? At that time, keep your calendars out, girls. Keep a little calendar or a little notebook or a little something out at your lip and sips with your schedule on it okay so if you just have a little day planner with your dates available where you can book one-on-one -on -one with people or book a demo or book you know a lip and sip with them at their house or, or some sort of uh, coffee shop date with them whatever you want to call it that is uh, that is a great way to remind you to ask every single person that you talk to if Cassie and I were talking and she was my customer I would say you know what, Cassie, I know you've got colors on your list that you couldn't get today. You could host a party and get a free color, and I've got some dates available right here. So what if we go on and book a party? If you need to change it, you can. It's not a big deal. Don't clean your house. We can get together at a coffee shop or meet back here in three weeks or whatever. But have your calendar available so that you guys can book a party right then and there. If you have them in person, they're more likely to say yes. If they leave you present, the chances of you getting that book or get that demo book go way, way down, like way down. So in front of them, keep a calendar out so you don't forget with your dates available and book it. That's right smart. There. That's smart. You're right. And you know, uh, that girl that did the Norwex party for me, she was like that. When she did her demo, she came over, then she got her calendar out. She made me commit to a date that day. So she knew, not right now, Gabe. She knew, pull the dog out here. So she knew exactly what she was doing. She had me committed to a date and she was out the door and then I started promoting that event. So that was. Takes anybody down at that point. You know, party got them locked into a, locked into a party. You know, and they can change it and let them know that. Shut the door, guys. I'm trying to. <sighs> My family came barging in on me. Okay, let, Nikki, one more thing before you disappear. Um, can you talk about the, what you talk about when you, when you are telling somebody what LipSense is and why it's so amazing? Okay. Especially your people that are new to LipSense, if they've never used it or never. Opportunity for you to really educate them on the product and and what, we, what we're all about as a company, too, but mainly what LipSense is all about. You don't have to know every ingredient, you guys, but you need to know about your company, and you need to know about your product. You need to know what you're selling. <laughs> Get back in a picture with your big old drink, <laughs> your big caffeine drink. Um, I like scooting out so it doesn't freeze frame on me drinking. I love it. <laughs> It'll probably freeze frame on me. Great. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so when I first hearing about LipSense, it goes back to basically what made you fall in love with LipSense. All those perks and all those things that made you want to sell this product or made you buy that first lip color or that first gloss. Those are the things you want to talk about, okay? So the fact that you put on a red lip color and went to bed and got up and it still looked like you just put your red lip color on, that sold me straight out of the gate. So I talk about those things. I say, you know what? This product is so amazing. It hooked me right away. You know, it stays on. You can rub your face. You can, you know, kiss your hand. And you tell them that. And you let them know at, that have natural, our pigments are naturally sparse. Okay. So you talk about how we have renewable pigments. And that, that the pigments stay on. And that the color lasts. You know, some of my colors last literally 12 hours. And you can a lot of Right there, you know, so talk about. 
Yes, you're awesome. You broke it up a little bit on the end for me. I hope everybody else maybe was able to hear it. I don't know if you're losing like some Wi-Fi there or not. Okay. Uh, some of the girls are saying they had a hard time hearing you there at the end, but you got. I think I think they heard you all at the beginning, so we're good. That just that last little bit of nugget. I think we lost you for a sec. Red. Huh? better now I can hear you Jennifer can you hear her now keep talking Nikki can you guys hear me like just do like a drop like a one or something there you go I, I, now you're coming in clear you were getting choppy for a minute maybe just restate what you were saying about um, you you said make sure to tell people why you fell in love with the product okay and then so what I was saying was great thing if you're going to do a demo or a lip and sip, uh, I like to do a small presentation. For, it's okay, buddy. I like to do a small presentation and basically give the details of why I fell in love with the product. You know, and I like show them my hand and I show them, I have to fix my kid's iPad or he's going to come ugly. It's okay. Here you go, buddy. Mommy comes first. So it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, so, but it's important to just share those few little features, the things that made you fall in love with the product, um, and tell them about how it lasts and you can take a drink, you know, show them how it doesn't come off. And that's, that's, what do you say? What do you say when people act freaked out by it? When they say, Oh, well, there's gotta be something bad in there. If it's doing that, like what's in this? I, I, make sure that people also know every one of our ingredients and in every single product that we make is FDA approved. Every ingredient and in every product of every portion of Synergens, okay? Whether it's lip scents or gloss, the lip balm, shadow scents, the skincare, whatever, every ingredient has been FDA approved. You can feel confident about that, you guys. We're an environmentally friendly company. I don't think a lot of people realize that. So those are things that you can feature and you can feel good about sharing that with your customers because that's a really cool thing to share. It's important that they know that yeah. you want to know those things. Yeah. You know, I don't think it gets talked about enough, um, but if you share those things with them, they're going to feel very comfortable with you putting on lips and also make sure they know that this isn't a wax based lip color. You're not going to lick your lips and ingest it. Okay. So when you lick your lips with lip scents, it stays on your lips. It's not like a regular wax. You're not eating it. Okay. When right. you lick regular lipstick, you ingest about a tube a year if you wear it every single day. That's what old science. Ew. That's gross. Sure it is. That right. is gross. <laughs> we don't do that because we don't ingest our products. That's okay. Right. Simple. All right. I know you got. I know you got to get going, but I appreciate you jumping on with us, Nikki. Everybody, tell Nikki you love her. Mwah! Nikki, Nikki, we love you. <laughs> Bye, girl. Okay. So I think you have to hang up, Nick. I'm hanging. I'm yeah. trying. <laughs> so who wants to volunteer next? Nancy, I think I saw you were on here. Are you willing to volunteer? Um, get off, Nikki. <laughs> Did she go? I still see her in my screen. Is she gone? Uh, somebody is saying we do just the gloss, though. We do. But that's not, um, that one is, is more of a natural product than anything. That's the vitamin E and shea butter product and um, the synthetic beeswax. So, uh, yes, you're right. If we, we probably adjust a little bit of it either way. Um, please let the dogs out. I don't want them in here. Go away. Go. Sorry. Okay. So uh, her quarter pick is gone now, I think. Nancy, are you ready to go live with me? I'm going to send you an invite. I'm going to send you an invite. See if you're ready. You can either accept or reject. Says no answer from you. Hmm. Maybe she's not still on. Is there, I see Jennifer, Susan, I know you've done shows. 
So I know Susan and Jennifer has done shows. Would either one of you guys be willing to do some role play with me? On um, You could be the customer or you can be the distributor. You choose. Anybody who's done shows before, I want to do a handful of the girls who've done shows. Brittany, it looks like Brittany's on first. And then um, if you haven't done a show, I want to get a couple of you girls on there just to practice. So <clears throat> anybody who wants to join me, don't be scared. Don't be scared. This is supposed to be interactive. Come on, guys. I'm just going to make faces at you until you somebody says they're going to be a volunteer. Volunteer. Who says no thanks? Susan says no thanks. Aw, oh, chicken. Susan, I know you do events. Like, you are probably a pro at these things. All right. Jennifer, would you do it? Or, let's see, Amanda has done a couple of shows, so she's still fairly new on them, but she's got some experience under her belt. Terry, Terry, Terry slays at shows. Terry, what you want to do? You want to go live with me, Terry? I think some of you guys might, let me see, I think some of y'all might have dropped out. Can't go live with me if you're not in here. Let's see if Terry's in. I'm inviting Terry, so she's in. Let's see if she'll accept my invite. If she's not ready and she's in her pajamas, she might not. I don't know. I get tired of waiting for somebody to volunteer, so I'm just asking. I'm just inviting. I'm just asking. You guys can say no. I can't just pull you in without your permission. Um, who else? Anybody else? Somebody. Come on, you guys. The whole point of this is it's just to interact. It's just to interact and to learn and to practice. Uh... Okay, even if you haven't done a vendor show, if you've done a launch party or a beauty demo, you've got experience at this. You can do, you can do this with me. I promise. You can be the customer. I'll be the salesperson. You don't have to be what Nikki did. We can do switch it the other way around. I'll be with, I'll be the Nikki. You can be the customer. You can be a mean customer. See, I don't. I, it's not letting me. Oh, I think it's because I've already. Wait, I'm waiting for. Yeah, and Terry's not answering. Who says me? Who says me? Jennifer says she, me. Let me try Jennifer. I think I got to go back and find your name when you first got on and invite. Okay. All right. I'm inviting Jennifer. Come on, Jennifer. This is fun. You guys better come prepared to get on live with me because this is fun. This is great. Way. <laughs> there she is. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Okay. Everybody call I can't in. hear you. You can't hear me? No. I can hear you. Okay. 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 I got it now. Okay. How come okay. everybody's going outside for their lives? I feel jealous. Everybody's like on their deck and I don't have one yet. <laughs> can everybody hear Jennifer? Somebody comment that you can hear Jennifer before we start. Jennifer, are you going to be the customer or are you going to be the salesperson? I'll be the customer. You're going to be the customer? Okay. Woo! See, like even I get nervous because I'm like, people are watching. <laughs> okay. So, okay, they said they can hear you, Jennifer. Okay, so let's pretend like we're at a vendor show for this one. So Nikki did kind of the demo, like, lip party. So let's pretend we're at a vendor show, show and you're walking by. Come on, you got to walk. You're walking by. Okay, she's walking by. I'm going to say, hi, I'm going to be standing in front of my table because I don't stand behind my table. I stand in front of my table. I'm going to say, hi, have you heard of Lip Sense before? Oh, hi. Yeah, I've seen that. A friend oh, of mine have, has some. You haven't some. tried it, though? You've never tried lip sense? No, I haven't. No, I haven't tried it on. Okay. Well, I have some on my hands right here, and I just want to show you. It's a long-lasting lipstick that doesn't smudge your butt. You put it on once. You don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. You can eat, drink, kiss, whatever you want to do. Don't have to worry about checking your teeth. It's on, and it's on to stay until you take it off. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, so, I mean, like, look, just try to rub. This is what I usually do. Just try to rub my hand. I'll hand them my hand. Like, try to rub it off. And then I'll let them, look at her, she reached. I love you, Jennifer. <laughs> so they'll, so they will, all, most of the time they'll reach. Some people who are, like, homo germaphobes won't, but most of them will. And they're like, holy crap, right? And they're like, that's crazy. And I'm like, yeah. 
So then I'll say, why don't we come over to the table? Because I usually have to kind of come out away from the table a little bit to bring them in. Because most people don't walk right next to the tables. They walk like a good distance away from the vendor tables because they feel safer mm -hmm. that way. <laughs> That's yeah. why I stand out there and I feel I'm like a fisherman. I'm like fishing them and I'm pulling them in. So right. I do that. I go out there. I show them that. I let them feel. And I say, why don't we come over here and let you play with some of our colors? Okay. Okay. Sure. Come on over. So then, um, so Jennifer, what kind of colors do you normally like to wear? Do you wear like reds or pinks or berries or nudes? I usually feel more comfortable in a pink color. In a pink. Okay. So pinks, like yeah. there's bright pinks and mm -hmm. then there's light pinks. Which kind of pinks do you like to wear? Well, like a mauve pink is usually safer because you don't have to worry about it looking bad. Um, because it just kind of blends with your lips, so that's kind of what I normally do. But um, but I'd be willing to try something bright if if I knew it was going to stay there. Okay, okay. So then that's the point. I'm going to so I have an idea of what she's looking for. She's looking for a pink, and she likes mauvey tones. Okay, so I know, um, but she's willing to try some bright. So now I'm going to go to my testers and I'm going to start pulling pinks out. I'm going to say, now I have goddess, so I'm of course going to show goddess because that's the first thing I think of when I hear mauve pink, but it's a limited edition mm -hmm. color and many of you guys don't have it, so you can't go to goddess unless they re-release it and I hope they do because it's so pretty, but <laughs> right, fingers <laughs> crossed, uh, but yeah. so then I would go to um, pink champagne for a really light pink and I would say oh, this is a really, really light pink that everybody loves. It looks great on everybody. And I would swatch it on her hand. I'd say, do you mind if I put some on your hand? So she's going to hold her hand out, and I'm going to put it on her hand. Good job, Jennifer. Thank you. Okay. And <laughs> so I'm going to give her pink champagne. I'm going to say, that's really light pink. I'm probably going to pull first love and say, this is like a nude pink to give her a variety. And I won't necessarily swatch all of them. Some of them I'll just maybe show in the bottle to see if she's interested. But if she's kind of thinking about it, then I'll swatch it on her hand. So I say this is like a nude pink. I usually do this to kind of see where they perk up. And then I'd show like kiss for a cause mm -hmm. to say this is one of our bright pinks. And if they'll instantly go, no. That's oh, that's too pretty. They, well, they might say, oh, <laughs> that's too bright. And then I know I put that back. <laughs> but if they say that's pretty, then I'm like, let's swatch it on your hands. Okay, so we put it on her hand. Mm -hmm. So then we give her a light, like a pink champagne. Then we give her, um, what did I say? What was the next one? First love. Then I might show her maybe Aussie Rose and say, this one's like kind of a light corally pink to give them some variety. Um, and then this Kiss for a Cause is our bright pink. And so then I would like have all of those there and I would say, do any of those stand out to you? Are you interested in any of those colors? Hmm. Kiss for a Cause is pretty. Kiss for a Cause is pretty. Would you like to try it on? I can get it, I can get it on your lips today and you can see what you think of it. Okay, sure. Okay. So from there, then you just decide if, um, would you like to apply the color or would you like me to apply it for you? Um, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, perfect. So, and, I, and I'll tell people, like I love it when people want to and I'll say that, it's great because then you know how to do it when you go home, you know, and you have to put it on yourself. So I love that, right. so that's great. So then I'll just uh, hand her the bottle and three tester ones if I'm gonna do that or I'll hold the bottle and dip a tester one and hand her the tester one usually. That's usually the best way to do it. Um, or if you have the tattoo ring, then you can give her the tattoo ring that I showed in the other video and put the product in there and one tester one. And I'm just going to say, um, first, we're going to remove their products. So I'm going to hand you a sponge and say, let's get off any lipstick that you currently have. And some women will say, oh, I don't have any lipstick on. I say, that's okay. Let's just wipe them clean anyway. Because you never know if they, like, if they had chapstick on that morning or something earlier. So then we'll do that first. Then I have them wipe that clean and I tell them to get it clean and dry. So I usually give them, when I give them a sponge, I usually give them like a wet side and a dry side. And I tell them to use the wet side to get it really wet and then to wipe it dry so that it's clean and dry. So then I would give her the wand. And I say, okay, what I'm going to have you do, we're going to shake the product and I'll shake it up and I'll say, you know, this got natural botanicals in there. So we have to shake it up to disperse the botanicals around the color pigments to make the color nice and even. And then this is going to go on in three thin layers. Okay. So okay. I'm going to have, you know, so I'm going to dip it in there and I'm going to hand her the wand. I'm going to say, what I want you to do is to go ahead and apply it and don't go back and forth like you normally would with lipstick. And also you're not going to rub, I tell them ahead of time, you're not going to rub your lips 
when you're applying, you're gonna keep your mouth open the entire time until we seal your color with a gloss, okay? Okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna hand it to you what I'm say, so go ahead and apply the top layer in one direction. Okay. <laughs> Look at you, I love you, yeah. Okay, and then, so you're just gonna do your first layer, and I'm gonna say, okay, it's same thing with your bottom. And then if you needed to get in your fine line or like your lining better, then you can just ah. tilt your, tilt your <laughs> applicator and draw on your Cupid's bow, draw that on around and just line it up nice, okay? And then I'm gonna get the new one or I'm gonna redip in her ring, whichever way I'm doing it. So if it's in the test room, I'm gonna get a second wand. If it's in the tattoo ring, I'm just gonna dip the same one back in there and hand it back to her. And then say, okay. okay, now we're gonna go for it. You know, sometimes I'll have them do this a little bit, or I have like, um, let me find one. I have like little fans, <laughs> little fans that I get from like festivals. I'll say, okay, you know, like let's get you getting dry while I'm getting their next um, application ready. Okay. And I'll say, okay, let's go ahead and do the second, second. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna apply that. And sometimes by then they're trying to shut their mouth because they don't know better. So they're like, and then their lips start sticking. Right? And they're like, no, no. <laughs> Try to keep right. your mouth open because it feels really tacky. I know it feels really tacky at first. That's because we haven't sealed your color yet. Once we put your glass on, it'll be fine. So then they're kind of like, okay. Uh -huh. okay, right? They're kind of weirded out at first. They've never done it before. Right. Second, so you, then you're like, and, then, and I'm like, and they're like trying to swallow, right? So they're like, uh -huh. and they're, they're stuck again. I'm like, if you have to swallow, just stuck your spit back. <laughs> And right. I'll tell them that so you don't have to shut your lips. And I'll explain to them, this goes on. It takes a little bit longer when we're doing it the first time because of us having to use the tester wands and just mm -hmm. walking you through step by step. But it will go on a lot faster right. once you do it yourself so you won't be as uncomfortable doing this, right? And then okay. third layer. And I'll tell them also while they're applying their first layer, you might feel a little tingle when you're applying. And then if they do, they'll be like, mm -hmm, right? <laughs> and you're like, if you do, that just means you have a little bit of... Right? Yeah, some people are like, no, it burns, right? I'm like, okay, it's okay. That's going to be temporary. That will go away in just a few seconds as soon as it dries. Um, if you do, that just means that you have a little bit of chapped lips, and I'll just explain to them, you probably have some small tears in your lips, and there is alcohol in our product. That's what helps it dry so quick on your lips. It's part of the delivery system, but it just evaporates okay. off as soon as it dries, so it's very temporary, and once you start using our products continuously, that's going to be a thing in the past anyway by using our products, okay? Okay. okay. So now we're going to do the third layer. We're going to see your gloss because I know you're ready for that gloss, aren't you? And they're like, no. Huh? Okay. So, <laughs> so then I'll hand them the glossy packet and I'll say, okay, let's, I'm going to squirt some of this on your finger or I'll squirt it on okay. a thing and say, let's, now we just want to seal with the gloss. And I always recommend that they're really good and dry before you seal the gloss, because some people will put on the gloss before they're dry, and then it doesn't really set or seal. It gets kind of goopy, and it feels weird to them. So make sure they're really dry. The first time they experience it, you want it to be right, okay? So make sure they're really dry before they apply. And then one time I have had a boo-boo where I had them apply with their finger, but I put on like, I think mold wine or plum, it was a darker color, and it wasn't 100% dry, and when I had her apply with her finger, she pushed kind of hard too, so she also drug the product with her. Like, mm, so she had yeah. this kind of weird mark right there. I'm like, shoot, right? So make yeah. sure it's good and dry, but then also tell them like to be light handed when they do that, if they're doing it themselves. Like don't, I tell them, don't press into the product. Just lightly tap it on to seal your color and then rub your lips together. And then by the that time they're like, they're like doing this. And then sometimes you can still see the side sticking because they don't know to get on the insides. And I'll tell them, and if you can see the side sticking, watch, pay attention, then say, okay, just make sure you rub, rub it into those corners, you know, make sure you get into those corners or use your fingers to carry the, the gloss down or rub it really well in the corners because it shouldn't feel tacky. If it still feels tacky, you just need more gloss in those areas. And that's the okay. way I explain that. And then they're, they're usually good. They rub that in. They're like, oh, okay. And then I'll yes, stay from there. Good. Yeah. Then I'll say from there, why don't you go ahead and kiss your hand now and see that it doesn't come off. And I'll, and. And they will look at oh, it wow. and they might see the gloss, but I'll say, you know, the only thing that's going to come off is the gloss, nothing mm -hmm. else. Um, and let's say you have a rebuttal, Jen. So let's say you don't like the feeling of gloss. So what well, this gloss is kind of sticky. I don't really like how that feels. Right, I, okay. It gets my, my hair gets caught in it and 
Gotcha. So you're used to wearing more like matte lipsticks. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just so you know, like our gloss is the best thing since sliced bread. Like it is so good for your lips. So I know I'm not a big gloss person either, or at least I wasn't before I started using these products, but our gloss is filled with like the best ingredients. It's vitamin E and shea butter and it hydrates your lips so good. It is part of the delivery system. It is required to seal your color, but you don't have to apply it too thick. So if it does feel like a little goopy, you can kind of just take your finger and, and slide some off. You really just need okay. enough. And I'll, I'll recommend to you that like you maybe, uh, if you don't like a lot of gloss, maybe it's a good idea to just put it on your bottom lip and then rub that into your top lip next time when you put it on so you don't okay. get as much gloss. And then um, just so you know, like the gloss, it doesn't stay like that all day. So it's gonna absorb into your lips probably within like 30 minutes or an hour. And then at that point, it's just, your lips are going to dry to a matte finish. So it's not going to be glossy all day. The gloss is just there. Okay. You can reapply the gloss as you like. So if you like the gloss or you like the glossy look, or um, if your lips just feel dry and you need more hydration, then you can reapply it. But if you really just want to keep a matte lip, then you can just use that gloss really early in the morning, rub your lips in every now and again to kind of get it to drink in there faster. But then after that, like it'll set to a matte finish and you're good for the rest of the day. Okay. So most people will get past it if they realize it's just a quick temporary thing, but some people do have gloss um, rebuttals, right? But some people just don't like the mm -hmm. gloss and well, right. any gloss. They want like a matte lipstick and they're used to wearing matte lipsticks. And so that's why. So I okay. just, I usually, you, sorry, go ahead. Do you have matte gloss? We do have a matte gloss um, and I can, I'm happy to sell you that, but I just want to make sure in your starter kit that you still get a glossy because okay. um, I recommend that you sleep in that also. And it's just way more hydrating than our matte gloss. So you can still with a matte gloss if you want to, but I would want you at least to use the glossy maybe on days that you don't wear lip color and you're just doing laundry around the house or um, especially when you're sleeping at night. Okay. Now, I also noticed that you had a bunch of other colored glosses. Yeah, so we have um, specialty glosses. Did well, what if I want one of those instead of just a clear gloss. Can I get, um, can I get an oops and a, a color and a, like a tinted gloss? Um, some of the tinted glosses you can, like the rose gloss that would be fine with, and the bougainvillea gloss that would be fine with, but most of our other glosses, you're gonna still wanna seal with the glossy first and then add those. So like the silver glitter gloss or the gold glitter gloss, like they're also very um, heavily, glitterified or however you want to say that right there's a lot of glitter to it so i wouldn't just rub that all over my whole lips if i wanted that sparkle i would put the glossy on first and then i would kind of dab a few areas with the with the silver glitter or the gold glitter and rub that into it otherwise you're going to be like 90s rock star concert lips i would right I just want to share. I just want to share one thing that I did. Um, so I went to the Bruno Mars concert the other day, and yeah. I wore um, I wore Goddess with silver glitter gloss, and I put the silver glitter gloss on before my glossy, mm -hmm. and um, it actually it, I actually got it to spread out really good, and so it didn't look like a big glitter mess. Yeah. It was just like a flecks of glitter. Um, but I one thing that I liked about that was that I didn't have to waste the silver glitter gloss because then it kind of it kind of stuck to the gloss, uh, to the uh, goddess. Yes. Because it was, and that's a good you know, point to make about the glitter glosses. Good. A lot of people don't know that about the glitter glosses, and that's a good point to make. So if they ask you when the gloss wears off, like the glossy with the glitter glosses, does that mean the glitter goes too? It doesn't. The glitter actually sticks to the color. So even when it goes matte and the gloss drinks in, the glitter will right. still stick to the color. So say you have on Fly Girl and Gold glitter gloss, which I do around the holidays a lot. Then mm -hmm. once that once that gloss drinks in, the gold glitter doesn't wipe off. I still have red lips with gold glitter on them. It's just matte right. red lips with gold so glitter. So then I I didn't have to worry about reapplying silver glitter gloss with no mirror or anything. Right. <laughs> I could just reapply the glossy over the top of it and the silver right. glitter gloss was where, you, I, where I, I put it. You technically can seal with any of our glosses. You technically can, but mm -hmm. I really try to push the start and some people just feel like the glitter is too much though like I said and dabbing it in certain areas is best plus I like to just stretch out my regular glosses or my fancy glosses a little further by doing mm -hmm. 
glossy right. first. But right. I just think for me, like I tell people glossy gloss, my mantra is glossy gloss is your new best friend. Like, and, mm -hmm. or glossy gloss is your new chapstick. Glossy gloss is your new lip balm. Whenever you need moisture, you go to your glossy, throw away your chapsticks, throw away anything else that you're using. Carmex, uh, what's the iOS, EOS, EOS, whatever it is yeah. that you are using on your lips, throw that crap away. It's not good for your lips. And I don't mean to sound like, like I'm bashing the other brands or anything, but the way I'll explain it is that, you know, those are made with cold pressed wax. And what that is, is like, basically when you see that it takes a shape, you know, when you turn up your, your chapstick tube and it's a solid, that's because it's going to sit like a solid on your lip. It's going to sit like a layer and it's not going to let your lips really get the hydration that they need. It's not going to let them breathe. And it's not certainly not going to let them shed like they're supposed to. Well, what if I use the kind that's in the little smushy tubes, the Carmex that's in the little smushy tubes? Yeah. I mean, some of those may or may not. I can't speak for every brand, but I know for sure that ours won't build up on your lip. So, like, I can't, I know that somebody asked me once about an Arbonne brand, and somebody asked me once about a Rodan and Fields lip conditioner. I can't look up the ingredients in every one of them to know, but I can guarantee you that our lip balm and our Glossy Gloss will not build up on your lips. They will hydrate your lips, and they're, they'll condition your lips. And I, my lips have never been healthier since I've been using it. And I used to have really bad chapped lips, like, that would peel and crack and... I was constantly picking at my lips, seriously, constantly, because I had pieces mm -hmm. of skin that drove me nuts. And now I can't pick a piece of skin off my lip if I wanted to. And it's all started from when I threw away the chapstick and the lip balms and I used Carmex and I used, um, what's the light blue one? Is it Nivea? Which was my favorite. Yeah. It was a soft tube. It felt so good. I've used soft lips. I threw all of those away and I've just been using glossy and my lips have never been healthier. That's what, all I can say. So I can't really say and speak for every brand, but I can guarantee you that ours will um, hit, make your lips healthy, conditioned, and won't build up on them. Okay. Okay. So that, that's kind of how I resolve the gloss rebuttals because sometimes you'll get those gloss rebuttals. Well, okay. do you sell a chapstick? We do. We sell a lip balm. And it is made with a synthetic beeswax, so it's vegan, and it also doesn't form that bond, or not that bond, it doesn't make a barrier where your lips can't breathe. It's still, breathe, your lips are still breathable, and it just drinks into your lips and doesn't build up on top of your lips. Okay. So I recommend to most people that you either sleep in your glossy, or you sleep in our lip balm, or you sleep in lip volumizer. One of those three things, they won't build up on your lips. They will all condition your lips. And it's just up to you, like what your purpose is. So for most people, like if you're just, if I can tell they're trying to save money, I'm not going to upsell them to a balm. I'll just help use the glossy. But right, if I right. if they specifically say I'm a balm girl, I love wearing lip balms. Then I'll say, well, then you should mm -hmm. buy our lip balm because I can guarantee you that ours won't build up on your lips. And then it won't work against any of our products where you're, because here's the thing. And this is the way I explain it to them when they're color. Like if you are putting chapstick on at nighttime, and then you're building up that layer of wax, the next day when you put on your lip product, it's gonna bond to that layer of wax and the dead skin that mm -hmm. didn't come off because you didn't exfoliate it right. instead of your lip. And the idea is for it to bond to your lip for long lasting wear. So if it's bonding to wax buildup or if it's bonding to dead skin that needs to come off, then that might flake off in the middle of the day and then you are gonna miss a piece or color of your lip, but that's only because it bonded to that and not to your lip. Right. So the goal is okay. to, to bond to your lip. So you really need to exfoliate every night. And even if you're not, I mean, you can exfoliate by, where's my little washcloth that I had? You can exfoliate by using a sugar scrub. You can, I give people a lot of tips. You can exfoliate using a sugar scrub. You can exfoliate with your toothbrush when you're brushing your teeth. Just go over your lips and scrub them too. You can exfoliate with a dry washcloth. Just kind of think of it like the way I explain to people is think of it like sandpaper and you're sanding smooth, you know, furniture that's got a bunch of little snags on it. Because then you're just buffing off that dead skin that's ready to come off, but without ripping and pulling your lips to get, to get tears in your lips. And then as soon as you're done doing that, to apply the gloss and it is like the best thing you can do for your lips. Now, okay. what do you so, tell, go ahead. What do you tell them when they say $20 is a lot for a lip moisturizer? Like the, 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 the lip balm, you know, when yeah. they say, well, I um, only pay like two or $3 for Carmex, but right. why um, is this, why is this $20? Without trying to be sassy, you get what you pay for. Right. Mm -hmm. We have quality <laughs> ingredients. Um, there's a lot of things with our company that I can vouch for. One of which is that all of our products are made in the USA. 
So the money stays here within our country, number one. And number two, we can trust all the ingredients because we didn't farm it out to a third world country where we don't exactly know what they're putting in our products that haven't been FDA approved or tested, which a lot of companies do when they put it through those other um, countries, then it doesn't have to go through the same testing that it does when it's made here in the USA. So uh, quality ingredients for starters is made in the USA. It's vegan, it's gluten-free, it is um, kosher, it is wax-free, it is lead-free. So I just, for me, I just know how good it is and I know it's worth spending the money and a little goes a long way. You just need a little bit and it's gonna last you forever. So okay. I mean, if you break down the day-by-day -day cost of it, like most people are reapplying their chapstick a million times a day because it's not quality That's ingredients. True. So right. this one, you know, you put it on there and you and you go to bed and it's good for the night. If you were gonna wear it in the daytime when you're when you're folding clothes or watching TV, I put it on once in the morning when I'm doing that and it's good until dinner time. I just feel great. I don't have to keep reapplying. Mm -hmm. So I think some when mm -hmm. it's cheap ingredients, you're just reapplying a lot too. Yeah. Um, another thing that I would like to address, is there anybody else in the group, just so Jennifer is not hogging the one-on-one -on -one time, but I'm going to use you if nobody else is because everybody was acting nervous. Anybody else that wants to volunteer, I'd like to get as many of y'all's faces in here as I can. Um, I want to just keep addressing some rebuttals and some issues that you sometimes will run into at vendor events or at parties. I'll say things that you need to be prepared for an answer or a response to so that you're not just like, Okay, right, like the more I go to events and the more I hear these um, rebuttals or protests to our products, the more I research answers for those. So I have an answer for pretty much every rebuttal I hear. Um, so I want you guys to have those. Is there anybody else in the group that is willing to do this or are we just gonna use Jennifer as our test dummy for the rest of the night? Because I know some of y'all have done these. Alicia, I know you have done these. Um, shows plenty of time. So Alicia, if you want to let me know who else has done lots of events that's in here. I'm looking through to see Terry. I don't think is in the group anymore or in, in the live anymore. Brandy, I think you've done several events. Brandy, if you want to jump in, let me know. And you definitely know the product and can probably handle rebuttals well. Um, Brittany is in here. Brittany, if you want to I know people are jumping. People are not watching solid career. They probably have like to put kids to bed and stuff, which I probably need to be doing. Daniel's helping me with it. Um, okay, so we'll we'll just keep going with Jennifer then, and then for anybody who wants to watch back live, they can. Jennifer, thank you. Okay, um, you're welcome. So Jennifer, um, do you want to be? Why don't you be the salesperson on this one? Are you comfortable with that? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what other kind of concerns have you had customers say to you? Uh, let's talk about price. So, so when they walk up and they okay. see the sign that says the total price and they start seeing concerns there, what would you hear them say? Um, they might say, uh, do I have to buy the oops? Is there anything else that can take it off? Yeah, because people are looking to save anywhere they can, right? Yeah, so and they can save $10. Right. And that's the thing I usually say to them, like, okay, yeah, there are other ways to get it off. If I can tell it's going to maybe lose the sale, if we can save $10 for them, then I'll say, you know, that's, if there's one thing that you don't have to have, you can get by without having the oops. But it is part of the starter kit. It is the, what guarantees our system is for you to have the three part um, kit. And it is what is designed to remove our product. So you could try to use like a coconut oil or another makeup remover but you might have to scrub a little bit harder and work a little harder and that might be hard on your lips. And I know, you know, our oops is designed to work with our product. So that's just what I recommend. But if you absolutely uh, need to save that money, that's the, that's the one place where you could probably skip and just work with warm water and coconut oil. And that might, might get it off for you. I just don't guarantee it. I can't guarantee it because it's not, that wasn't designed to go with our line, you know, and most people are like, okay, with that so some people will say just uh, and then i say it's just ten dollars for the oops and when they see that that's all that they're saving sometimes they're like okay fine just throw the oops in or sometimes they're like okay well i'll try coconut oil first and i'll let you know if it doesn't work you know yeah um sometimes people will just balk at right away at the 55 dollar package right, right? the 55 dollars that's a lot of money i'm not spending 55 dollars for lipstick right mm -hmm. so when you hear that do, I'm going to throw this on you a little bit. What do you say right away when you, when, when you hear that? 
Well, it's not just fifty-five dollars for the lipstick alone. The lipstick color, the lip color is twenty-five, and the gloss is twenty, and the remover is ten. So altogether, as a kid, it's fifty-five. Um, when you buy lipstick at Mac or Sephora or somewhere else, their lipsticks are twenty dollars or more, just depending on which name brand you go to. So it it is comparable to the other name brands, but ours lasts four times as long because you don't have to keep putting it on every, all day long. Okay. And that's really good. So when you say that, that's a major selling point on price is that you're only applying it once. And you're not having to reapply it throughout the day. Um, another selling point, and I think it's really good to have is um, if you can print out, if you're doing a vendor show or a party, to have on hand, it is a good idea to have a printout of some of the price cost comparison sheets that have been done. If you look in Kissy Cats, um, it's in our albums. There's an album, I think, that says pricing. And it shows there's different images based on price, and there's some images that show some cost comparisons. And if you had to pull it up on your phone, you could do that. But it's nice to have just a printout that you can show them. Right. Um, I like the one that shows all the different tubes that with red, and it shows, like, different amounts. And I just mm -hmm. basically will say right away, um, I know it seems like a lot of money, but most products is kind of tricky with the packaging, and they make you think you're getting a lot of products in their product, but they're actually really giving you just a little bit of product and a fancy bottle. And we give the most product compared as, as to any brand that we've compared it to, we give the most. Okay. So you're going to get a ton more product with our packaging. We don't have a bunch of fancy packaging because we care about the, our environmental footprint. So we don't, don't want to waste anything. And we give you a ton more product because we want to make sure you get the value out of it. So I, if we compare milliliter to milliliter, we offer the most. And when you compare it that way, it's actually less per milliliter than it than total price. So you're spending more probably upfront, but even when you compare it to like Hovergirl, we're less per mil. So that is a better buy for you. Um, it's just that you're spending more money out of pocket up front. So it's like buying the big thing at Tide um, at Costco, the big giant Tide at Costco instead of buying like right. the little ones at Kroger. You're saving in the end, but you have to pay a little more in the beginning. Yeah. So most people get that when I give that analogy. Susan. Susan says, it's hard for me to sell the oops because I'm not crazy about it myself. I prefer the foops. The foops is awesome. And you can just have the foops at your stations if you want to. That's $20. It's, t it's a little bit more. So you can have both, especially if they're – if they're buying other products, I think the Foops is beneficial. I like them both. Um, I know some people struggle with the Oops, Susan. Um, I think part of it is just making sure that you explain the best removal process. So I think when, I, when people were using Oops and um, cotton rounds, I don't get how they're doing that because that doesn't work for me. I have to use Oops and a washcloth. And it can be dry or wet. If it's wet, it needs to be warm water. But dry works great for me. And then um, I just make sure to tell people if it doesn't come off all the way the first time. Well, to make sure that you're rubbing your lips together and letting it break down. So I'll do that. So I'll make sure you're breaking it down really well for like 30 seconds to a minute before you start scrubbing. And then if you still have some left over to do another treatment of oops and then scrub again. And then it could, because when lip sense goes on in layers, it comes off in layers. And that's just sometimes the way it is. And for some people, it comes off with just a washcloth at the end of the day, because by then it's just ready to come off. It just depends on, on the person. Excuse me. Um, okay, Jennifer, what's another rebuttal that you hear? Hmm. Do you guarantee your products? What if I don't like it? Okay, yeah, all I understand completely. Um, all of our products are 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So that means that at any time when you're using it, if you decide that you don't love the product, you can exchange it. If you don't like the color, we can get you another color, or you can exchange it for your money back. No problem. Our company believes so much in our products that we absolutely know that you're going to love it. So it's not an issue. Like the only thing that we might get wrong is your color. And that's why we're here at this party or here at this event to try to get that on you today to make sure that you love your color. But it's all. But, it, but you can return it any time if you change your mind. Okay. Well, I'm I'm from another state. Do you? What if I want more colors? Can you send them to me? Of course I can. And then that's why I need to make sure that they've got my card. 
my phone number, um, that they're in my Facebook group. Some people will say they're you know older and they're like, I'm not on Facebook. You'll get some of that. And you're like, okay, my phone number's on here. Just call or text me whenever you want to order or email, whichever, any of those ways, it's fine. Um, I'll make sure they get a beauty book and say, you know, this has all of our colors. So when you want to come back and order that and our other products, just let me know. But I can ship it to you. And if I have the product in stock, I can get it to you in like two or three days. If I don't have it in stock, it'll take about a week to 10 days. Um, okay. I was talking to a lady the other day. Um, I was leaving Meyer and talking to her about the um the colors and everything and she was asking about having a party and she said um she said that her daughter or somebody lives like in arizona or something um and was wondering if she could have a facebook party um since she lives out there and um and i said yeah she could but i wasn't i mean she... okay sorry my son's interrupting me Logan, I've got medicine in the in the room. Just wait until I'm done. Okay, flush them. Sorry. Okay, so um, <laughs> mom comes first. Mom jobs always come first. Uh, so she just wants to know if you can have a Facebook party for her daughter in Arizona. I'm confused. Right. She wanted to know if her daughter in Arizona could maybe do a Facebook party. So like they would, she could do a Facebook party, but nobody would be able to try any colors. How do you right. how do you handle that on Facebook parties? Yeah, I mean I've, I've done colors. Facebook parties. Susan, who's in the group right now, she signed up under me from a Facebook party. So I mean, ton, tons of people only do online sales and only do Facebook parties. So at that point, it's that just is- really important that you're sending good graphics that show the colors really well, and that you're asking good questions. So when they say, "I want to order right. a show." You show the image that has all the lip colors on it first and foremost. So they can look at those and hammer down, okay, I think I like Plum Pretty and Nutmeg. And you're like, okay, they like bronzy colors, okay? So then Mm -hmm. what I would do from there is send them a few selfies. I would look at them. I kind of Facebook stalk a little bit on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'll look at their profile and scroll through their pictures and see what colors I see them wearing and maybe make recommendations to them based on colors that I see them wearing. But then I'll send them some selfies of girls that I found in Santa Sister selfies that look somewhat like them. So if they've got brown hair, I'm going to send them some brunette selfies of them, of girls wearing Plum Pretty and Nutmeg and say, okay, here's some pictures of some girls wearing it. Let me know what you think, if you want to get both or if you, which one you like, you know. And then I think it's just really important that you're, when you're on online, that you're sending as many different visuals as you can so that they can really have a full understanding of the color and what it looks like and how it can vary slightly from person to person. That's also mm-hmm. why like group on the Everlasting Lip, I'm adding new albums every day. For any of you guys who are in my group, I don't know if you've noticed that, but I am going through Santa Sister Selfies. I'm pulling as many different color pictures as I can. Say if I'm doing bombshell for the day, I'm finding all the people that I like their selfies of a bombshell in as many different skin tones as I can. And that has nice clean images that I like that aren't blurry or that don't look like they've been filtered or that don't have Mm -hmm. too much busy stuff going on. And then I'll post those in an album. And then the, you know, in that color album, there will be like 10 to 15 different pictures of one person of the one color. So I think people get a really good idea of how different the color can look, but they really get to understand the color more intimately. So just, I think that's it. Like when they're, when they're saying they're leaning towards certain colors, you send them multiple pictures of people wearing it to make sure. So this is the one you want. I just want to make sure you, this is, this is it. Yeah. And that's the best way to make sure that they're happy with it so that you're not mailing back returns and stuff. But Facebook parties is a great way you can, you can run a great business with Facebook parties. And then in Facebook parties, you'll ask other people if they want to be a hostess to a party and just keep booking like that. And that's another way to grow your business through your cold market, opening up new people into your cold market. And you can also ask if anybody would be interested in selling. And then I've gained, I have a good handful of distributors that I got from Facebook parties and Susan is one of them. Um, how do you feel about doing a vendor show in a retirement community? I was hesitant because older people always complain about price, even when I explain the value. Interesting, because I was just thinking I really wanted to do, uh, I was like, where do you find old people? <laughs> because I had really good luck with older people um, at vendor shows. It seems like they're great customers, and they're willing to spend money if it's good, if it's a good product. Like, the older people that I run into, maybe it just depends on, I don't know if it depends on the area, like more socioeconomic status or what, but the, mm-hmm. the older ladies that I've run into have been like ladies that order off QVC all day. 
And they're no. like, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. And they'll like, you know, and they'll buy a ton of all in. I think I lost everything for a minute. Can everybody hear me? It went like jumbly. Are we back? It went jumbly for a sec. Can everybody hear me? Frozen. Okay. So um, I will make a point, Susan, to say how um, it's anti-aging and that it's got Cineplex Complex in it. I talk to older women about Cineplex Complex and how it compares to Retina A and how it reduces fine lines and wrinkles, increases moisture and hydration in skin and elasticity in skin. Um, and I'll talk about all that and say why the products are so amazing that they're meant to do two things. And I try to let every customer know this. Our CEO designed our products to do two things. One, to make products that last on your face until you take them off. And two, to benefit your skin in some way. So everything has got some kind of built-in skincare or something that's going to increase and improve the quality of your, of your skin, your lips, your whatever you're putting it on, your eyelashes for hair growth, whatever you're doing. I mean, whatever other makeup have you put on your face that you know is improving your skin quality? So when you talk about things like that, older women love that. So I think maybe focus on that, Susan. Focus on the fact that this isn't dollar store makeup. This isn't crap that's just meant to look you pretty, make you look pretty for a day. This is meant to benefit you. It's built-in skincare and makeup at the same time. So focus on that when you're talking to older women about that. And the fact that it's not sliding into their wrinkles, it's not sliding. So I had a woman at the Gaslight Festival that swore to me she wasn't spending $45 on lipstick. She's like, I'm telling you now, I am not spending $45 on lipstick. I was like, okay, well, let's just try it on you and see. She had a bright red that was like bled into all of her wrinkles, like all over her face. She looked like those of the crown. Not kidding. And I was like, let's get that off of you and let's put some on. And I made a point to say that too. Like our products aren't going to bleed into your fine lines and wrinkles. And when women get older, lipstick does that bad. So when they see that that's not going to do that, that's another huge selling point for older women. So focus mm -hmm. on that selling point that it doesn't bleed into your fine lines and wrinkles and that it's anti-aging, good for your skin, built-in skincare with an amazing patented skincare product that nobody else has, Cineflex Complex, that has better clinical studies and better results than Retina A, and it's in their makeup. Are you there, Susan? Can you still hear me? I know because some people were saying it was frozen. Did you hear all that? I want to make sure you got that. Okay, good. So I think that's the best way. Maybe some of it, there probably are some little cheap old ladies that won't, but you want to look for the, there are the old ladies out there that are all about looking glam and nice and that care about their skin. Mm -hmm. Talk about that kind of stuff. They will spend the money and then they will be good customers for life. Like give them your beauty books, talk about the rest of the skincare and they'll keep coming back. Like one of those customers will be enough to like support you monthly when you get those good little rich, little, they're not rich, but little old ladies that care about their skin because they spend some money. So I like older ladies as customers because they care more about their skin. I think little young girls don't. They're like, I just want the wet and wild, you know, from Walgreens. I don't care. And I'm like, okay. Or when you're talking about skincare, they just don't think about it. They, they don't care. It's like irrelevant. It goes over their head. They're like, so? Because my skin looks good. I'm like, it's not going to look good forever if you don't take care of it now. So, <laughs> all right, guys. I think we covered pretty much most of the bases. Do you think, Jennifer, is there anything else you can think of that they would need to know? Not related to the lip sense part. No. Okay. So I think we did some good demo role play for you guys. I think if you guys practice at home with your husband or with your best friend or with your kids, that will be helpful for you. Um, and then I think I'm going to download this and post it to YouTube, to my YouTube channel. So for anybody that's watching on YouTube that's not already part of my team, the Kissy Cats, and you're looking for an awesome team to join, just let me know, or little Miss Jennifer that's been on the video today, she is available to help you. Um, we've got a great team, and Nikki also. Any of the girls that were in this video are, are totally available to be your upline and help you, and we have such an amazing team that helps all of our girls, and we just wanna make sure that 
whoever is signing up does their research on their sponsor, does their research on their upline, and has a team that believes in supporting and teaching and growing um, your personal skills, your sales skills, um, and your business, and how supporting you along the way. So we appreciate everybody for taking their time to watch, and we love you guys, and we're signing out. Bye.